Hello everybody, Michael Spagamer here, so today we'll be playing with Arya Stark and I think that she was probably the least expected character to be in multiverses or at least in a brawl like this. I also didn't really expect a Game of Thrones character to be one of the first characters to be in multiverses. Which is kind of, it is kind of strange. What do you want? But she is also one of the hardest characters to use in the game. I'm not I already played with her a bit. Um, That's not me. I've heard that she is very squishy. And the thing is, she has a very hard time knocking characters out of the game. Or at least out of the map. And I'm fighting off a Batman. Doesn't, doesn't really sh uh, show that, that well for me, honestly. I feel... Really nervous fighting this Batman. Batman is one of the best characters in the game just because of his battering and also he can use his grappling hook or grappling gun to pretty much get to anyone in an, almost an instant. Obviously the only thing he can do is dodge every time he does that but it is it is pretty annoying. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video guys it does help me a lot and the channel as well and I feel like I will lose to this character but it depends on how, how um, Gunnardor, I think that's the name, how you say their name there. Um, if they're good players, they'll probably beat the crowd out of me, but sometimes I can beat them. Oh yeah, it's supposed to be one of the best uh, swordsmen or swordswoman in uh, Game of Thrones. I never actually watched Game of Thrones, but I've heard it's really top quality. Almost like movie quality, episodic movie quality uh, show. So most of her attacks is easy to hit. The only issue is killing, doing the killing blow is pretty hard for her. And she can technically steal an opponent's face or mask and pretty much become them for a moment. She's similar to the spike from Team Fortress 2. She, I would say she's pretty much... If you play Spy from Team Fortress 2, you'll probably main her. Because she's very similar in some ways. Okay, he's annoying, but not too bad. And I still got him right there. So I got him with my own battering. Can she actually steal abilities from the characters? I actually want to know from that, because... From what, from what I heard, she can only disguise someone, but she can actually use their abilities. So maybe in this game, she's a bit different than her lore-wise uh, lore character. I mean, she is cartoonish as well. All of them are cartoonish. I feel like we're not quite even, but I'm definitely doing far better than I thought I would do it. Do against this Batman. And he almost knocked me out. I was so close from dying. So freaking early. I would really want to play or main her, but the thing is, she's so hard to use. And he got me out so early in the game. Get me back in the fight. Lady. Also, the game is a bit lagging right now. I can see him teleporting everywhere. Um, did hear a uh, netcode, or not the netcode, netcode is fine, but uh, servers, they have a lot of lag. It could be from uh, region, regional stuff, usually if you play with someone as far away from you, or like one from Brazil, one from Canada. Effortless. Well, he beat me pretty early though. So yeah, that was not a good match, as I probably said before. He's, he is one of the hardest characters to use. I'm Batman. And I'm not really sure if uh, this person wants to play again. Oh, I would actually doubt it. I mean, it's an easy win for them if they look at it that way, but it doesn't seem like he wants to even accept it. 
Okay, so let's see for the next one. And yeah, I have him as his, uh, as the, or his voice back. He doesn't talk much, but I think he's a, a kind of funny. Taz, he's one of my favorites. Oh, you can see based on his level. Him and Tom and Jerry are literally my favorites here. Bugs, I play him a bit, but I still have a bit of issues using him because of his projectile speed. Like, most of his abilities are pretty slow. But yeah, I mean, it's a than anything. She's Nothing just very just hard to nothing. use. And she does... She doesn't do as much damage. I still prefer her over uh, Steven. But I think that she is still a bit weak on the weaker yeah. end. You have to be very well with her. Um, she has to be super quick in her attacks. And do not give any openings for your target. Like, you have to be constantly aggressive on your target. Start time. The next video, I'll probably do, be doing a, a video about Hardy. Uh, I feel like she's definitely one of the stronger characters in the game. Arguably one of the best. Her, Jake, um, Tom and Jerry, and who else? Uh, I mean, Batman is also pretty, pretty good. Wonder Woman, from what I know, she is pretty much the most solid character in the game. She's the most balanced. She is pretty much one of the most balanced characters, so... It, I never had any complaints about her. Maybe I about hyper armor or super armor. But that's her one main uh, ability that she has. She hit me from behind. We're now even in damage, which is pretty interesting. Oh, I dodged that one. That was a cool, uh, cool combo I did right there. I'm doing quite a lot of damage. Oh, I missed that. She almost knocked her out of the map. I think I should probably play with her a bit more with Arya Stark. Because I feel maybe I have the potential to be good with her. But I feel like I'm more, I'm definitely more of a Taz player. I like being very aggressive with the tornado. And I don't spam a tornado. But I do use most of his combos. I think he's a bit, still a bit weak. I've survived worse than you. But you won't be able to say That's like how more. she taunts well, the own your start. own taunt itself. You got a screw loose, pal. Oh, I stabbed her right. She went right into my attack. But you can see 123 damage and still she bounces back like nothing. And Hardy is one of the lighter characters in the game. Oh, I took, took a few shots. I think Arya is one of the lightest characters. I think it would make sense if Jake was lighter. He's literally a rubber dog. He should be like he's he should be like Kirby if anything. Kirby in Smash Bros is one of the lightest characters, but it has a lot of jumps though, so, and also they're pretty stretchy. Uh, Kirby is still stretchy despite him uh, being being able to pretty much eat anything. Okay, she's just spamming the same attack on, over and over. Doesn't really help when you spam the same attack unless if you're maybe Shaggy. And I still don't like the... Many people despise uh, Shaggy's kick. His side air kicks. But it's... It is avoidable. I did die to it many times. For sure when I started the game. But though, if you, want to be, if you really want to dodge it or avoid it... Honestly, since I play Tads quite often... I just open my mouth as Taz and I pretty much eat Shag. Like he goes right into his mouth every time he uh, does the kick. It would sound very out of context if uh, he heard it without that would be playing multiverse. That would sound weird. But yeah, Taz pretty much his best his best ability is pretty much eating, because he can pretty much hold you there for a while. And I think he does way more damage than um then shake when he eats you. Fear 
Just spamming the same attack. Oh, I still got her. Doing far better in this round with her. She's surprised and doing so much damage. Do not call me my lady. Oh, and it's thunder. Once you do so much damage to them, that's it. I can already start. He is pretty much a spy of the game. She is the like Team Fortress 2 spy. That's how I see her. And I really hope they add a Team Fortress 2 character in this game. Like, they have a better chance than Smash Bros. People were expecting the heavy in it. Almost died to that one. There we go, she finally killed me. Oh, I almost got her. There we go. Oh, yeah, winner, 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 winner. I never actually winner. understood what the point of the pie is. Just appears randomly at the end of whenever he knocks someone out. Was that all? Pathetic. And yeah, if you think about that, like what her sentence is, Arya is one of the rudest characters in the game. She, if you remove the uh, filter, the mature filter off. He will completely insult every character, including bugs, including everyone. The like characters that you would not expect to be insulted in a very, very mature way. She does swear a lot, so her and Hardy are Come pretty on, harsh when it comes character. to their sentences. Are we training or just having a chat? Let's play one more game and see how good. she performs again, because I feel like that was a good match, but I kind of stomped, I feel like I kind of stomped, uh, party there she didn't know what she, what she was doing she was kind of spamming the same attack over and over doesn't really make it challenging but i feel like she does have the potential to be very dangerous maybe in two versus twos like, because she has the, the knife she can throw the knife if it hits someone when they're almost in the corner of the map they'll get knocked out so that can be Pretty dangerous. Okay, so this guy, whoever this is, is not new. You can Start see time. it didn't play as much. The more you play the game, the more the more you're supposedly gonna know like who is better, who is not, um, the weaknesses, which is very important to know, and you get used to it as well. I still can't to wait to play Rick because of this map. It just reminds you of Rick and Morty every time because it is literally Rick and Morty. I feel like Morty is a bit underpowered in the game. Um, he is definitely like, from what I've heard, a mid tier. Nothing too great, but he does black damage. He just has a lot of utility. Similar to Steven, but I think he his upper and down attacks are probably better than Steven's. I think Steven is the worst character. He's probably better in 2 versus 2s, but in solo, I feel like he's much weaker. I mean, he is a support. Supports are usually better together with another, uh, with a brawler or any bruiser or someone else. Fear cuts deeper than swords. I'm not sure what happened to him, but he just froze there. He went right into that attack. I guess that's one weakness to uh, Batman spamming the the grappling gun. I mean, I either do that or I just have Taz open his mouth. Similar to how Shaggy spams his attack. Batman literally goes, he goes right into uh, Taz's mouth and it's free damage right there. Because, you know, Taz can pretty much eat anything.
For every move Batman does in this, I think it's actually based on comics. Like he, everything he does here is based on uh, one of the comics, and it's pretty interesting how they actually managed to do that. That's why multiverse is, is pretty unique in its own standards. I still survived that. Oh, you're not doing the same spamming attack over and over now. Still got me there. That was a very cool, a very cool knockout. With his own veteran, I managed to kill him. Okay, now he's really going, he's like not risking, he's like going back and forth trying to avoid me and then hitting me. Oh, that saved me. The uppercuts are so annoying when it comes to Batman. This isn't the end. Him and Jake, I feel like, are pretty, pretty powerful when it comes to the uppercuts. Okay, now he's just going back and forth doing the same leg attack. Punch me again up pretty much up the stage there. Still got him. That was a pretty far reach. Oh, you almost got me there. I mean quite a lot, although I'm not really sure how to counter it with Arya because she is... She doesn't have many defensive abilities and she is very squishy. She is an assassin, so she is technically the squishiest in her class. Still survive that. I'm not even sure how I'm still alive, but almost 200 there. Well, I just said that and I pretty much died. That was a very hard fight though, even for him. Like, he, he was literally spamming the same attack over and over. I'm actually surprised I even survived almost to 200 there. She is literally one of the lightest characters in the game. Look at the amount of damage he did. And he, he probably said it was too risky to fight me again because I actually might win. I'm sure that's why some of them don't even do a rematch because they're kind of too scared to lose so it makes sense here well guys that'll be the end of the video hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe like and turn notifications on for more videos like these and what if you're about Arya Stark um as I said she's one of the latest characters she is kind of hard to use because she doesn't have much kill potential or knockout potential unlike Tom and Jerry uh Taz even has Taz probably has one of the best knockout potentials in the game. 
Um, Finn, I know he was nerfed, but he's still pretty good. And Batman, I mean, compared to, compared to, to Arya Stark, Batman is probably the better character overall currently. Until they, I think they should buff her a bit, maybe make her damage a bit higher than usual. Like it's now, a, I think, a bit too low. She has a similar issue to Steven, but she at least has speed and range and at least good combo potential. Steven also has it, but it's just harder to perform it. As I said before, guys, that'll be the end of the video, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye bye.